Good afternoon and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Ada and today is Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Let's start the show today with a look at the current and upcoming weather with our student meteorologist, Xander. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist, Xander. It's right around 1 o'clock and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing cloudy skies. The current temperature is 55 degrees and it appears to be a perfect day to stay inside and play Minecraft. Tonight and leading into early morning, you, you expect to see partly cloudy and cloudy skies. As always, have a wonderful day and let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks for the update, Xander. Let's try and put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Ava, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. When does a doctor get mad? When he loses his patience. Why can't you play hide and seek with a mountain? Because it's always peaking. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ava. Now for all the word lovers out there, we present to you the words of the day. Hi, my name is Jackie. And welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is ruffle. Ruffle can be used as a noun and a verb. As a noun, ruffle is defined as a material used to, for trimming edges. Disturb and frill are synonyms for ruffle. In a sentence, ruffle can be used like this. Her skirt had ruffles and frills. Ruffle, can you use it today? Thanks, kids. Now from the creative mind of Thomas, it's today's stop motion short titled, The Mystery Cat. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Sarah with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Sarah, and today's true or false topic is dogs. Let's see if you can figure out which statement is true or false. Pure breed dogs are always less healthy than mutts. False. Mutts can have genetic diseases. The poodle originated in France. False. It was originated from Germany. Zashans were originally bred to fight badgers. True. Thanks for watching today's true or false. Now, let's take it back to you in the studio. While at Shang Middle School and out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we wanted to explore the following. Describe something you see in your community that you think is unfair. What do you think should be done about this? What role could you play in making that change? I think if you see someone lonely at like a lunch table, you should sit with them and not like be unfair and like just sit with them and be nice. I think bullying is unfair in our community and we should have more anti-bullying programs. Bullying is unfair because I think everyone should be accepted and no one should ever have to deal with something like that. What I think is um, unfair in our community is that some people are on the roads asking for food and some people just walk by. Um, and I think that we can, whenever we see someone who needs food or needs to provide for any of their family or themselves, we can give them what we need and then we can be happy because we did something for other people. In the community that's unfair is bullying. In a way that we can like help it out is we can have a non-bullying day and make sure that everybody is like treating the way they should be treated. All right, I feel that we should start recycling more than we do for multiple reasons. One is because many like life animals in the ocean are being hurt from plastic that we are just throwing in the ocean. So you should try and reuse stuff more and um, you should also just try and recycle a lot. I think that bullying is a thing that shouldn't be in this world. A lot of people out there, including me, have been bullied a lot. Like me, every sing almost pretty much almost every single year of my life. And with other people, they've been bullied even a little bit, can make a big difference in their life. To stop this, just don't be rude to these people. They didn't do anything. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Willow with Today in History. 
Hello, my name is Willa, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1989, the worst earthquake in 82 years happened in San Francisco. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on earthquakes. The most powerful earthquake ever recorded on Earth was in Valdivia, Chile, and happened in 1960. It had a magnitude of 9.5. The ancient Japanese once believed that a giant catfish called Namzi was responsible for earthquakes. That's a look back in history for the date October 17th. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks kids. We all have people we admire. We were wondering, who do you admire the most and why? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. I admire my mom because she is nice, she's willing to help others, and she's caring. My parents because they help me with everything. I admire my friends the most because they're always there for me. Like if I need anything, I can just go to my friends and we can talk about funny stuff. And I just really like having a lot of friends because we can hang out a lot. Elvis Presley because I, I'm a musician and he inspired me. LeBron James because LeBron James is a really good basketball player, but he also like does more than an athlete and he's really nice. I like Pete Alonzo because I like baseball and he's on the Mets and I like the Mets and I want to be like him when I grow up. I admire Tyree Kills because he's on the Chiefs. Chiefs my favorite team and I want to be a wide receiver as well. Someone who I admire the most is Aaron Judge because he's my favorite baseball player and I always look up to him. Thanks kids. Now let's go to Allie with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Allie, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about ratios. We learned how to word the final answer. We learned how to call in the numbers. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure you've got that notification turned on so you don't miss our next new episode. Try your best to stay safe, responsible, and respectful, and have a great day.